Okay, so what I've decided to do is to use these. They are um, insulated outlets, and I'm wiring them. They could actually run 110, but I'm going to be running 12 volts through them. So I've already made one connection here. I'll show you how I make this connector here. What? Oh. I'm not the greatest, greatest at soldering, but I just put the two ends together for to add the cable, the wire I need to go through the lamp post, and that's what I'm left with. I'll have that, these two together, about 10 feet of wire, and for this lamp post I got four more to do. All right, here are these, these are the bulbs, get some light in here, they call them corn cob bulbs, see if I can get one out of here, and take a look at one, these are 9 volt, 9 volt bulbs, I mean 9 watt, and you see, they kind of look like a corn cob, but they go into a regular light socket that runs off 12 volts. So when I hook up the battery system and I hook up the um, solar panel, that's what these are. That's what these will be powered, or they're going to be powering these bulbs. Now I'm wondering because I got to put five bulbs in each, then I might end up going with these. These are 5 watt compared to 9 watt. Uh, the difference is that with 5 bulbs, I only got to worry about 40, uh, 25 watts compared to 45 watts with 5 of these 9, nine watt bulbs. So I'm going to, I'm going to work with, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to work with the 5 volt because I don't think I'll have enough, I don't think my battery will be able to, to sustain a charge long enough to maintain the nine watt bulbs at least four or five hours that's what I want I want it to stay on at least till after midnight and then maybe go off around two or three in the morning 
See how that works. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. We have uh, all five outlets or sockets wired. And uh, we ran uh, continuity tests on all five of them. They're all five good. And uh, now we need to uh, get them threaded through the light pole. And I'll be back with that. Okay, here's our uh, solar panels. These are 10 watt solar panels with our um, charge controller. Uh, the charge controller makes sure that when it's dusted on, so when the solar panels are getting sunlight, they charge the battery. When they stop getting sunlight, they automatically shut off the charging and, and uh, discharge to the load, to the lights and turn the lights on which happens as soon as the sun goes down. Uh, this controller allows you to set a timer, one hour up to 13 hours. So we have two of them, one for each light pole. And uh, we've got to mount those. Those have to be mounted. And they're, they're mounted with these brackets. There's a bracket in here that's adjustable. And then I used a, uh, I use a silicone sealant to uh, adhere it to the back of the mount so it won't go anywhere. And uh, that's that so far. All right, here's our lamp post. And as you can see, I ran a string through the top and I got it down at the bottom. This is so that I have a loop that goes all the way around. And as I run each wire for each post, for each one of the lights, I'll be able to pull it back through. All right, so here's where we're gonna go through. We're gonna make sure we got a little bit of curve in the wire because it's gonna curve around that and come out the front or at the top. So we're gonna go and feed this in. It ain't easy to do with one hand, but I think I can knock it out. I don't want too much of a curve. Okay, so we want to make sure that we keep the curve steady. And we might hit some, some parts where it doesn't want to move. Kind of tap it a few times. Not a period. No, not, even, not even coming out yet. I don't want to curve too much. Try again. There we go. I think I got it this time. See if I can get this lined up. Let me see the wire. Take this little torch. Kind of tricky but I got it through there threaded it up comes out the other end I want to pull this all the way up into here now because I can't fit both of these connections in I pull one out 
slide one of them, one of the connectors in and then slide the second connector in because they won't fit at the same time together. But I want I'm going to encase this thing in some silicone when I'm done. I need it to go all the way in. And it's going to rest like that with the other wire kind of wrapped around the side. Kind of like that. Now I'm going to put some silicone all the way around it to seal it and hold it just like that. I can pull, pull this wire, make sure it's nice and snug. And then what I'll do is I'll tie it each one to my rope here and then pull it all the way down to the bottom. Be right back. All right, so I got it hooked up. Now I'll just pull on my string. Get my get my wire in place. Make sure that I'm not twisting it up too bad. Make sure the wire goes down into the hole. Now all I got to do is just tug on my string. Make sure that this stays. Don't want my wire to get all tangled. Now, make sure just get a little, make sure they're tight, and that's good. Now I got four more to go. All right, so now we got all four of them wired, all five of them wired. I still got to seal them up. all the wiring here and since I'm doing two of these this is what the end product will look like so we'll have all the wiring come out wire nutted together to just one white and one black and uh, the next project is the charge controller and battery pack and I put the globes and the bulb on this one see what it'll look like we'll mount the solar panel like somewhere around right here and uh, we'll be back all right so now we got the globes in place bulbs in place this is the mount for the solar panel and we have its power connector and it's been fed down to the pole so here we have the wiring for all the bulbs here and the red and black wire is going to be for the solar panel and uh, same thing done with this one i broke one of the globes so i had to order a new one waiting for that to come in but uh, Everything looks really good. When the solar panels get put in, these will all be positioned so that they point in the right direction. And we got the LED bulbs all installed. 
And uh, all we got to do now is install the battery packs and uh, mount the bolt, mount the uh, poles. That's next. Okay. So now what we have here, this is the charge controller with the battery pack attached to it. This is about a 6.8 amp hour battery, 12 volts. So when I turn that on, I get my light comes on the battery and you can see the charge controller shows that it now has battery power. So what I gotta do now is I gotta wire up the lights and the solar panel to the charge controller. All right, so we got the charge controller wired. If we turn on the battery pack, you see we got power right now because the solar panel is upside down, not getting any light. So it's not able to charge the battery right now, but we got everything hooked up. So this is what sets the timer So I can have this on for say four hours, five hours. It's a 6.8 hour battery pack. So that's that. So now I gotta do is just figure a way to tuck it away inside the lamp. Now I got everything all sealed up and the battery's all up inside there, turned on. Just got it tucked in there really tight. It ain't going nowhere. And uh, we'll try it out tonight. So look, let me stand it upright. The only thing I got left now is to mount them and uh, put them in direct sunlight. Everything looks good. There's the other one over there. Should be uh, interesting. It looked good. Okay, here's what the final product looks like. Battery's all charged. Here's the other one. All we gotta do now is mount them. But now they stay on for five hours, shut off, and the batteries will charge during the day. Very nice. Have a good one.